Okay, first grade. Today's read aloud is Llama Llama Loves Camping by Anna Dudney. Let's go ahead and start reading. Llama Llama Loves Camping. I'm excited to go camping tomorrow, Llama Llama tells his friends. He has never camped overnight before. Neither has Nellie New, Luna, Gilroy, or Euclid. It will be super fun, Mama Llama says, and Grandma Llama and I will be there with you the whole time. Camping is going to be very different from being at home, says Llama. Luna nods. We'll be out in the open, under the trees and sky. And we won't have any kitchen or house things, like a refrigerator, an oven, or lights, says Gilroy. Euclid looks worried. After all, he loves gadgets. We can't use any machines while we camp, he asks. That's right, says Mama Llama. We are just going to bring the essentials. Essentials are the few things we really need. But don't worry, Euclid. It's only for one day and night. <gasps> he looks very worried. The next day is warm and sunny as the campers arrive at the campground. Welcome to our overnight adventure in the woods, says Grandma, says Grandma Llama. Llama Llama and his friends cheer loudly. Everyone has one bag except for Euclid. He's carrying two. Don't worry, he explains. I only brought the essentials. That's a lot of essentials, Nellie says with a laugh. Okay, campers, says Mama Llama, let's go for a hike while it's still light outside. Euclid pulls a handheld gadget out of one of his bags. I, pl I can plug a routine into my directional device, he says. Remember, Euclid, Llama says kindly, no gadgets allowed. Euclid sighs. Okay, he says, putting it away. Not using gadgets is going to be very easy. Hmm, do you think it's going to be easy for him? To be honest, maybe it would be hard for me putting my phone away while going camping. Let's see what happens. Mama Llama leads the campers along a trail in the woods. Wow, says Llama looking around. These trees are so tall. I wonder how tall they are, Euclid says. Can I measure them with my digital tape measure? Luna shakes her head. No gadgets, she reminds him. Oh, yeah, Euclid says. When the group gets farther into the woods, Mama Llama asks the campers to stop for a moment. Let's listen to the sounds of nature, she says. What do you hear? Llama pauses. I hear a bird chirping, he says. I hear leaves rustling, Luna says. I hear a tree creaking, says Gilroy. Nellie points to a bee. I hear him buzzing, she says. I hear all that too, Euclid says. And I hear water flowing in the distance. <gasps> what do you think they're going to do next? Let's go ahead and make a prediction. I think they're going to go and try to find the water. What do you think? All right, let's go find out. The sounds in the woods are very different from the sounds at home, says Luna. Yeah, says Nellie. Those are machine sounds. Beep, ring, ring, wee -hoo, wee -hoo. She laughs at her imitation of a siren. Euclid pulls a tape recorder and a camera from his bag. I want to make a recording to remember these sounds, he explains. Mama Llama smiles at Euclid. For this trip, let's just listen hard to remember everything she says. I forgot, Euclid says. This no gadgets thing is tougher than I thought. After their hike, Llama and his friends help Mama Llama and Graham set up camp. Instead of a house, they have a tent. Instead of a refrigerator, they have a cooler with ice. And instead of an oven, they have a roaring campfire. It takes some work to camp out, says Mama Llama, but it helps you appreciate the nice things you have at home a little bit more. 
Later, the campers ate a delicious dinner around the fire. And now it's time for dessert, says Grandma Llama, handing out sticks. Do we just eat these, says Gilroy? No, says Graham. You eat marshmallows after we roast them in the fire. As the sun sets, everyone roasts marshmallows over the fire. They taste delicious, even better than a dessert you make at home. It's getting pretty dark out, says Nellie. It is, says Euclid. But it's pretty nice roasting marshmallows in nature, he adds, with no gadgets. Finally, it's time for bed. Inside the tent, the campers get cozy in their sleeping bags. Once they're all tucked in, Mama Llama has an idea. Let's listen closely to the sounds outside and pretend they're music, she says. The campers close their eyes. They hear crickets chirping, they hear a bird calling, they hear the wind whooshing and an owl hooting. It sounds like they're all talking to each other, says Llama. The music of the forest is very peaceful. As they listen to the nighttime sounds, the campers slowly drift off to sleep. In the morning, sunlight streams into the tent. The campers wake up feeling refreshed. Mama Llama and Graham are very proud of Llama and his friends spending the entire night in the woods. But everyone is especially proud of Euclid. Good job, cheers Llama. Llama, you didn't use any gadgets on our camp out. Thank you, Euclid says. It was a fun challenge. I like the woods. The other campers agree. Can we go on another hike before we leave? Nellie asks. We sure can, says Grandma Llama. But first, breakfast. We can use my electric waffle maker, says Euclid. Oh, wait, he adds. That's the kind of gadget, isn't it? He made it this far without using machines. He isn't going to stop now. The end. I really enjoyed this book, Llama Llama Loves Camping. I hope you did too. Bye.